200 pounds of bite force is sitting right there next to your face funnel. Oh my god, never mind my squat routine. I'm gonna get my jaw out. Like, what the hell? It's insane. I feel so powerful. Yeah. Um, someone who has made a career for herself in utilizing that muscle well is world famous competitive eater today who can eat a kilo burrito in two minutes. That blows my mind. It does blow my mind. She can also down 12 donuts in 96 seconds and also two litres of chocolate milk in one minute. And with this niche skill, she's grown a fan base across the world since she started way back in 2014. It's Nella I'm back with an epic challenge. <laughs> I'm only 5'6", so this is 6 foot, so that's 6 inches taller than me. As you can see, it's stacked into a tower because I couldn't fit it in the frame lengthwise. Uh, oh, pardon me. Oh my god. What, what a beast! And she is here with us in the feed funny. Kia ora, hey, uh, Nella. Hey, thank you so much for joining us in the Feed Funny. I envy your job, first up. I mean, I think I'm in the wrong uh, job because uh, you, you get to taste some pretty awesome kai every day. Uh, for those who don't know Nella, um, Nella, can you tell us what is the profession of a professional uh, competitive eater? Um, so basically that's only my part-time job. That's like my side hobby. Mm -mm. I'm actually a doctor full-time. Oh, yeah. So does it clash the profession of doctor? Because, you know, doctors are all about good eating habits, you know, being sensible <laughs> with your food. Does it clash with the other profession or the other love that you have for, for food and competitive eating? Not really. I think competitive eating is perfectly healthy as long as you're smart about it. You know, you want to be healthy the majority of the time. And then, you know, competitive eating is kind of separate to that. So it's like be healthy and, you know, Enjoy yourself. I, uh, you look like you do enjoy yourself, and I love it. And now, now how did question? <laughs> how did you get into such a wonderful profession or side hobby of competitive uh, competitive eating? So I was a massive fan of Matt Stoney, who's like a massive competitive eater. He's one of the biggest ones on YouTube. Uh, I watched all his videos, and one day there was a Sal's pizza eating contest here in Auckland, and my mum convinced me to go enter it. I did. I finally said yes. I said no for ages, and then I ended up going, and I ended up beating 19 big guys and taking out like $1,500. I was like, damn, I can earn some like money on the side doing this, so I just started Whoa. making videos and started going to contests. I love why you're earning money as you're eating. I love, usually you're paying for the food, but this time they're paying you to exactly. actually eat. That's so cool. Now, now what is the day uh, like? Like, you know, um, athletes, uh, they train, uh, run, uh, put, uh, put, uh, put in the weight work at, at, at the gym. What's the uh, training regimen for a competitive eater like? So I'd say like on days where I film my videos or what days I've got like uh, contests or anything like that, I don't eat in the morning. Like I try to get my appetite up. So let's say like I try to do something like an activity like the day before, or I just try to like keep myself active before it, just so I am going into it really hungry. Yo, and, and of course, I mean, well, I've got to ask how, what is the most you've ever, I guess, had to consume in, in one sitting? Oh man. Um, I'd say I used to own a restaurant called Tux and Bao and my chef, my head chef was actually a competitive eater as well and we created a challenge together called the Chairman Bao Challenge and it was just this big stack of like, uh, if you know like Taiwanese Bao, yeah. massive stack of chips, like a 1.1 litre thick shake with a big candy thing on it um, and then just all these like small Bao around it. I finished it, I think it was like 24 minutes or something, it was the most food I've ever eaten in my life. I was so uncomfortable. Uh, Randy Santel actually came and did it himself. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he's massive in America. He's just come to New Zealand for a while as well. He couldn't actually finish it, so I was pretty proud that I was able to finish it. Whoa, Nella! Oh, and, and speaking of, like, having to compete and eat such uh, big quantities of kai, I mean, uh, like, what what is the biggest... If the Olympics is to the uh, athletic world, uh, what is the Olympics to the uh, competitive eating world? 
I'd say that would be Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest, which actually happens today on July the 4th. Yeah. Um, well, tomorrow in America, because it's the, it's the third day at the moment. But yeah, I've been there twice myself and I absolutely loved it. It's where I met Matt Sony as well, my, my absolute idol. Oh, that is so beautiful. Is that, would you ever see the day where you're competing against them and stealing their title of uh, most uh, accomplished competitive eater? Definitely not. I'd say being a doctor is my number one priority, and I'd say I put a lot more energy into that these days, but I still upload at least one challenge a week to my YouTube channel, and I also upload a video a week to my TikTok channel and Instagram and all that, so I'm still, like, very involved, but I'd say most of my, like, effort goes into my medical career. <laughs> Nice. Well, hey, we thank you so much uh, for your time, for giving away your time, uh, for being away from the, the hospital for now. Uh, but thank you so much for sharing your knowledge about uh, food, competitive eating. I think I might go check out some of those uh, thank competitions you guys for as well. Me. I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Nila. Nila says that everybody, you can check her out on all her socials, including YouTube, Insta, and TikTok. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Have a great one.